Whew. What a week. And we haven't even hit the Apple release. Yesterday, Meta did a epic tease launch release of the Quest 3. It's going to have beautiful pass through. MR, MR is what we're going to be hearing all the time. And what everybody's thinking about is what I'm so excited about. Apple XR. People are worried because it's going to cost like a billion dollars. But honestly, to me, that's a good thing. Because I think what we need right now as an industry isn't a slightly better experience to what we have now. We need like the experience. And even if a lot of people don't buy it, but it actually shows them what VR could be, that's going to be amazing. And if people just think, oh my God, VR is amazing, it's just too expensive, will be so much better than people who don't care because headsets are too big or not clear enough. So yeah, if it's really going to be what I think it might be, it's going to blow my mind. But even more than that, it's opening up really the doors to super high resolution <gasps> VR films. So we've been filming in 8K for years now, 12K for over a year, and we actually even have a 16K prototype. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. It's not been launched or announced anywhere, but we're doing it. We're creating content to the next level, and so many people ask us, why do we do it? Why is the Duo S 12K? when headsets can only play 8K, it's because we know 12K is coming and it may be coming next week. So personally, I cannot wait for a crazy new headset that is going to allow us to push the boundaries of reality inside of virtual reality. Can't wait. Check it out. 12K full frame sensors and we've never had a chance to actually experience what these things can do. So fingers crossed. Um, don't break my heart, Tim Cook. Knock it out of the park. And yeah, we'll be giving you updates a week from now when we actually have all this information. And we'll be letting you know on Apple XR launch day where you can see this amazing content.